Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at some Command and Conquer Red Alert buildings. These are in fact the Allied Faction, and I have to say, Command and Conquer Red Alert was a good game, but I was much more of a Generals fan. But I'll let you discuss that in the comment section below. We're going to have a look at some of the buildings. It's not often we take a look at buildings, and I'll show you some of the cool little features of this outpost. So this outpost itself is all the buildings that they've created and they put them in one cool little pack so let's start by having a look at the bunkers themselves so you can see the bunker here is created out of a, a large ship base and it's just a really simple bunker and, and you'd be surprised how actually effective these are let me spawn my character in here you can see scaling here this would actually offer me a defensive position to shoot from i don't see many structures like this in space engineers and it'd be quite cool to have more things like this for players to actually shoot out there's a lot of reliance on turrets and weapons defending the base and yes they are the optimal way of defending but a few little bunkers like that would be certainly cool so you've got that rounded sculpture you've got the little cap on the top very very cool indeed and you could you can run a few guys in these and if you combine the right mixture of missile men and machine gun guys you could really shred both enemy armor and vehicles so coming over here you'll notice we've also got ourselves a missile turret so just have a look at this really cool design so once again it's a large base with a small ship on top so this is fully functional you could get this to work with a script quite easily and you can see there is rocket pods on each end of the tips you could use reloadable rocket launchers if you wanted to try to get this thing firing a good volley away but just look at the little shape of that it's awesome it's got the blue wraps around it you could obviously change this up for the color of your faction and it's got dual rocket launchers stuck back to back so you might have some issues with it exploding but it certainly looks quite cool and you can see the remote control block is up there as well so if we go into the base you can see it's mounted on a large rotor in there that connects up to a secondary rotor and there we have a cool little turret system. So having a look at the walls themselves, these are quite a cool little structure. You can see we've got small ship blocks combined with a large ship. We've got some nice little sandbag type walls along the perimeter there. Very cool indeed. We just need some construction machinery driving around and building things up. We have of course got, you're going to have to correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is the battle lab. I know that one's the barracks, but we'll have a quick look around each of the structures. So at first glance, I was trying to work out how this had been created. If we actually look a little bit closer, this is a combination of both large and small ship blocks placed over the top of each other, perfectly met up to create this really cool window type effect. And that wraps around the whole structure. That must have been some time and effort getting it to work like that. And you can see we've got the antennas and the sort of signaling array up at the top here with a bit of a wrapper blue, some tires used there. And if we head down to the base of this structure, you can see, oh, Aaron's copied the whole thing. Oh, please be careful, Aaron. Don't be copying the whole thing like that. You're going to break something. What's this? Is that like a, just a little voxel that's been cut out of the way? But a really cool detailed structure. Hopefully this is giving you some inspiration for building some of the things of your own. Of course, these are a more pr pretty light design structure. So you can see that the central area there has been locked with the rotor. You could, of course, add an interior into it. But we don't really know what the interiors of Command & Conquer buildings look like. I mean, there is some trailer trailers and different fan art but we'd be doing too much guessing so we're over at the barracks now so the barracks itself is where we can buy all our infantry units and they've got this cool little defensive tower up here as well no access via ladder just because it's looking pretty but you can see that's a combination of both small and large blocks that small block is wrapped and phased through the interior of that block there that yes it can be clangy and it's quite dangerous but it certainly helps break up the looks i wish i just wish space engineers would have combined blocks like they did in medieval engineers and let you build both small and large together in a much more clang free way so going into the barracks you can see it's just a blank interior with these bright windows and i believe they change color when they're processing infantry units but that might become like general generals I'm, I'm i'm confused i might be a little confused there but a really cool little barrack structure i like that indeed now next, I believe we've got ourselves a war factory. So this is where you build your medium to light armoured vehicles. You can see they've got this giant sort of crane up on all these pistons. Oh god, people are seeing these pistons and panicking, I can already tell. You can see it rotates in there. I don't know if there's any functionality being added to this. I can have a quick look through the inside. I'm not too sure. We'll see if there's any button panels. But you could um, obviously drop, move. Look at that claw. That's quite a design on there with that various different rotors and pistons that's awesome it'd be nice to see it pick something up so you can see that claw on this side is possibly missing oh no it's closed up underneath 
Very nice indeed. We've got the floor plan underneath. And it looks like it's almost on like a rail system. So when something's produced, it's dropped in, retracted. You've got the pistons on the rails here on this side. And this, in fact, has a roller shutter door. We're going to have to see if we can get these guys working. I'm not too sure if it's just as simple as interacting with a few things. But you can see these timer modules and other things up here. We just have to find the right button panel and set the thing off. There it is. Here we go. Let's get our character in over here. You can see the scale of it as well with the character in. So with this one, we have got the timer block trigger now. Okay, we have got timer block stop. We've got trigger now uh, and sled piston. So let's do it in order if we can. Okay, we've pressed that one. What is this doing? Oh, though, so that's the roller door. Very awesome indeed. Look at that. Roller doors in SE, how creations have came on. I remember when I first built my anchor door right at the start and it used to, <laughs> it used engines to make it go up and down, but roller doors, I would have been blown away by something like that. So there's the roller door placed down. Let's uh, reverse that up. If we can, hopefully I press the right button. No, don't panic. This is how you break things. Okay. So quite, nothing's quite happened there. Okay, it looks like we've got a few things that we need reversing. We've also got this one. Timer block trigger. What is that doing? Not too sure. And then we've got the sled piston. That might not be a good idea because we've just rammed it into the door. Can we retract the, can we retract the door? Oh, no! Oh. I don't think that's how it deployed it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kunka. But um, there we go. There is the War Factory. Very cool. Lots of awesome little features there added. And it looks like this one, you've got the platform here so it can rotate. We've also got the little storage bay and the reactors there. God, they'd be spinning fast up after seeing that door move. I like little reactors like this. This It's so gimmicky when you build things like this in Space Engineers, but it's so fun. You can't stop yourself. Um, let's have a quick look over here. So this one looks like the ore processing and we've got the harvester here. So the harvester itself has got the little harvesting blade up there on the front. You've got the cockpit inside there. It would be nice maybe to have, add, if you could add some drills into this at the front here. So you could use it as a miner as well. And then you've got the bucket here that offloads it into the pit. You could easily convert all this stuff if you wanted to to make it function. Just a few collectors down there at the bottom to pump out the drills too. But I like how it's spinning there and churning the ore. Over here we've got a little power module. We've got some little round little balls being created up there. We've got the reactor and the melter up over there very cool indeed these structures just look just look how much craftsmanship's gone into them there's the little bridges that have been added to try to bring the detailing together of the blocks it's a difficult process building static buildings like this because when you build something like this really nice you can then put the important things of se inside it and as people walk past they're just in awe so let's have a look inside here so we've got another building type construction inside so we've got welders in this particular one and an off-ramp there. Very cool indeed. You see how that lowers through. You can also see how they've combined both the smaller grid and the larger grid together. Very cool indeed. Now we've got the airfield, if I remember correctly. Another really beautifully crafted tower. So this is a small ship block on the top. There's nothing in there because in Command & Conquer you couldn't actually see what was going on inside. You've got this little bit of a lower observation area. These would be quite cool. Out made out of heavy armor, they'd be very protected as well. You could have a really nice interior. And then you've got the various different pads for the flyers. And all you're missing is a little door here. And you'd be able to get inside. But you can also see that using this system of pushing the small grids through the large grids can cause some trouble for your interiors as well. But it just creates that level of detail. That's fantastic. Up here, we've got another little radar dish. We've got some more little turbines over at the back there. It all seems to fit together. That's another thing about building buildings in SE is people don't often nail it where they all feel like they belong. And these allied buildings feel like they belong together. I don't know if that's just because the, the original Command & Conquer nailed that and then replicate them in there. Here, it's brought them across. So here we go. We've got one of the other sort of pad type creations here. So I'm not too sure which one this one is. You'll have to remind me in the comment section. I, I, it could be a resource drop, but that might be me remembering Command Code Generals instead. And you've got the arm there that collects it. Oh, I like the, the sort of gridding that's been added to this. So that's another phase of small ship blocks through the large blocks. But the gridding effect it's created is really cool. And we've got a welding pad over there as well. So maybe it's some sort of construction pad. 
Very nice. It's really awesome to see these large and small blocks be almost phased through each other. So that's just layered up there. Very nice indeed. Let's continue moving on. So we've got a communications sort of array over here. We've got great use of that dish. To be honest, since I've seen this dish added, I really haven't seen too much done with it. Um, it is a pretty block, I guess. So you can see some of the detailing just on the antenna itself. That's quite nice. Nice model, that definitely. King did a good job on that. That's been mounted onto the rotor, and then it's on this rotary arm with wheels around the back. So it can move back and forth. And over here, we've got a smaller little antenna. Very cool indeed. So over here... Now, this looks like a reactor building or some sort of ge geodome, was it? So let's have a quick look. So I believe that this opens up to a degree. But let's see if there's any buttons, panels or anything around here. But it's really hard to get shaped like that. Oh, here we go. We have a button panel. Oh, yeah, there we go. It says chron chronosphere shield. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, beautiful. I like that clamshell sort of design. I've not seen too much of that used in SE. It'd be nice to have that on some more weapon systems. It might be a bit fussy to set up. Oh, I can see why people haven't done it. Let's close that clamshell up again and just get a little bit of an idea of how to do it. Maybe even a clamshell hanger would be cool. So, Oh, yeah, so this it's working, but it is phasing through the other block. So somehow they've managed to dupe the collision of the two blocks there. Or is it? Let's retract it one more time. I'm, I'm in awe about these creations. I really like them. So let's retract that back up. And let's see. I think there is some clipping when we get towards the top here. Or maybe it's just perfectly matched. No, though, there is some clipping towards the top there. But it seems to be ignoring that. I don't know if that's using, you know, the SE's new collision mesh. Because I've seen some cool things. But the effort and time to make that round is amazing. Oh, what's inside here? Let's have a look. There's more buttons. So is this another close yeah so that one just closes that back up so that's a look at all the command and conquer general buildings they just blow me away to be honest i'm really happy to see so much effort and design and just detail going into this please space engineers if it's possible let us combine large and small block what the hell's that let, let us combine large and small blocks in some way and with a little less clang as well oh poor poor rotary arm over here another victim of clang anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching let me know if you played command and conquer red alert or you're more of a generals fan like myself and i will see you next time